In the year 1830, retired veteran detective, Augustus Landor is approached by the military to examine an incident at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, New York. Landor is a widower who lives alone since his daughter Matilda ran off several years ago. A cadet, Leroy Fry, has been found hanged, yet his heart was removed from his body as it lays in the mortuary. The senior officials at the academy wish Landor to figure out who did this and why. Looking at the corpse, Landor finds a little part of a note grasped firmly in the hand of the dead cadet. Additionally, marks on Fry's neck and fingers propose that he didn't hang himself, but was killed. With the official's consent, Landor enrolls the assistance of Edgar Allan Poe, another cadet at the academy who has showed an interest in case. Poe and Landor deduce from the writing on the note piece that it was calling Fry to a mystery meeting. After a cow and a sheep are found nearby, butchered and with their hearts removed, it is deduced that the homicide could be connected to dark magic rituals. Another cadet, Ballinger, disappears and is subsequently found hanged, with both his heart and his genitals removed. A third cadet, Stoddard, who was a colleague of the two victims, then, at that point, vanishes, and it is assumed via Landor that this man had reason to believe he was next in line to be killed. Landor and Poe begin to suspect the family of Dr. Daniel Marquis, who was first brought into the investigation to perform an autopsy on Fry. Specific doubt is placed on his son, Artemis, and his daughter Leah, who experiences arbitrary seizures. While visiting Dr. Marquis home, Landor sees as an old official's uniform, a man impersonating an officer had been involved in the mutilation of Fry's body. Landor goes up against Dr. Marquis, who concedes that he had turned to dark sorcery to fix Leah of her seizures, and at first she seemed to move and prove. Poe is captivated by Leah and volunteers to do anything she wants. But he is sedated and wakes to find that Artemis and Leah are about to cut out his heart, as per the ritual to fix Leah. Landor manages to show up just in time to rescue Poe, but the building bursts into flames and Leah and Artemis die. Believing that the case is solved, the military thanks Landor for his service. However, Poe, recovering from his brush with death, sees that the handwriting on the note piece found in Fry's grasp matches that of Landor. Stringing together all the information that he has gathered, it becomes evident that Landor was in fact killer of the recruits. Poe confronts Landor with his conclusion. It unfolds that two years previously, Landor's girl Maddie was raped by Fry, Ballinger, and Stoddard after attending her first ball. Damaged by the experience, she later committed suicide by leaping off a cliff. Landor didn't reveal this to anybody, but pretended that Maddie had taken off. Distraught, Landor set off to avenge his little girl. He left the note for Fry, drawing him to a desolate spot before hanging him. But a patrol happened to stroll by, so Landor had to leave the body there. Leah and Artemis later stole the heart for their ritual. After killing Ballinger, Landor mutilated his corpse to make it look like the cadet had been killed by the same mad man who had desecrated Fry's body. Poe tells Landor he has two notes with handwriting samples that can connect Landor to the killings, however before leaving, Poe burns them. Landor is later seen standing on the cliff where his daughter jumped to her death. He lets her ribbon float away in the breeze, saying, Rest, my love. 